Hello there my crafty little buggers and welcome back to my messy apartment unfortunately. For the past few days I was trying to find a location where I could record my next episode or this episode of The Good Player but finally I realized that the parks in my city are really too small. There is always some kind of distraction around like children or dogs or other people or there is too much traffic so I finally decided to come back to this place. Don't take me wrong, recording in this place is not that big of a deal. I mean, I would just like to show you some other parts of my city that are really pretty and worthwhile seeing. Nonetheless, I'm back here and let's talk about combat efficiency. Now, combat efficiency mostly depends on two things, whether your party is big or your party is small. It's like working in a company or owning your own business. If you're working in a company, you have your own role and you do your role the best way you can. If you own your own business, on the other hand, you have to be a jack of all trades, more versatile. The same goes for player characters. If the party is smaller, your character needs to be more versatile. If the party is bigger, you get to have focus on a single thing. So in a small party, a tank would also have to be a damage dealer. A rogue would have to be both a ranged and melee character. A sorcerer would also have to be a damage dealer in area of effect, but would also have to be a healer because, well, there is no cleric. Or if there is a cleric in such a party, the cleric would have to be the damage dealer, not just a booster and a healer. Unlike the small party, in a big party you can focus on your role. In a party of five or six characters, you can choose whether you want to be a tank, a damage dealer, a ranged a melee character, booster, healer, area of effect sorcerer. No matter what you choose, you can focus your character in a straight line. Now, let's speak about choosing the path of your character. Within a small party, you would have to choose the best options for your character. In a small party, if you would like to be a tank and a damage dealer both at the same time, you would have to choose best of the both worlds, but still be crippled a little bit in both of them. Or if you're gonna be a crowd control and a booster at the same time, those two character roles don't coincide quite well. So that would also make your character a little bit crippled, but it opens up some new possibilities. For instance, I'm playing a Slayer in a campaign that I play for a year already with another four guys as players and another one guy as DM. And that Slayer is really versatile in the sense that I'm both ranged and melee character. But for a melee character, I chose to take two levels of Brawler because that's the best way that I can deal damage and still have all of the perks of a ranged character and a stealthy character as well. Even though I'm playing in a big party, I chose diversity rather than focusing myself. If I chose to focus my Slayer to be a ranged character all the time, it would still work. But roleplay-wise, it wouldn't be what I wanted for the character. So in this campaign there is also a tank, a booster, a healer and a crowd control wizard which is a complete party of five. And some of them, yes, they choose to go for versatility rather than focusing themselves on a single role. But the main focus is still there. I'm still the ranged character, tank is still a tank, booster and so on and so forth. Now if you choose to go for a single role, try to find the best possible combination of feats and skills that will make that role worthwhile playing. Whether you're wielding a gun, a bow, a longsword, a two-handed sword or whatever else, go for focusing on that weapon and the efficiency of that weapon. Or if you choose to be a tank, try to raise your armor class the best way possible. Or if you're going for an area of effect damage, try to boost your spells in such a way that they will deal the most damage in an area rather than focusing your spell on a single target and dealing the most damage to a single target. Now, I hope that this was helpful. You can follow me on my Instagram and Facebook pages. There is also my Patreon page. If you want to back me up, I would really appreciate that. If you're watching my videos for the first time, please hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up if you like what I talk about here. Also, sharing any of the content from this channel will help this channel grow and I would really appreciate that as well. And as always, this is Crafty and I bid you farewell.